Hello, welcome to our track for BricsCAD Pro and Lite. I'm Gavin England from the Brixis go-to-market team and together with Walter Nays, AI team manager, I'm proud and excited to introduce the amazing benefits for users of BricsCAD Pro and Lite V23. Thanks, Gavin. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. Let me start with this generic design workflow. Now, for most organizations with a design function, which delivers documentation downstream to make or build something, the workflow is, is much like this. For those unfamiliar with BricsCAD, it's a horizontal design product to address this workflow, which serves the needs of many industry sectors. BricsCAD addresses all of the different touch points of this workflow, as well as being the gateway to a host of industry-specific design solutions. For example, BricsCAD BIM for the building industry, BricsCAD Mechanical for manufacturing, and our host of partner products, which serve the needs of many industry sectors. So what is at the technological heart of BricsCAD Pro and Lite? Here is BrisCat in its essence. Firstly, BrisCat is intelligent. It's enabled by an AI. This allows you to automate laborious tasks, such as laying out equipment within a building, for example. And when you're faced with untidy, excessively heavy drawings that have maybe come from a client or a supplier, BrisCat will optimize them automatically, increasing their performance. BrisCat will even guide users through their design tasks by predicting what they might want to do next. So the AI inside BrisCat enables fast and efficient design workflows. And BrisCat also costs less than many other CAD products. Our flexible licensing offers the optimum solution for all our users' needs, which access the right design tool at the right time. For example, a designer may only need basic 2D drafting one day and, say, more complex sheet metal design the next. We can easily address this type of scenario in the most cost-effective way. Now, BrisCAD is an industry standard native DWG format solution. It offers data compatibility with legacy DWG-based products and a familiar look and feel. So it's easy to build BrisCAD into your existing DWG workflows. And choosing BrisCAD is a superior upgrade, not just a DWG alternative, because it enables more efficient 2D or 3D design workflows and offers even better value. BrisCAD gives users extensive 2D tools and advanced 3D modeling capabilities. These have all the features you need to create 2D drawings quickly and to develop 3D models effectively. And the winning formula? Both run within a single environment, making it easy to complete your work in 2D or 3D or any combination of the two, depending on your approach for your project. So BrisCAD delivers maximum productivity, helping you to solve your design problems much faster with its intelligent AI-powered capability at great value, a highly compatible and familiar DWG native approach, and combined 2D and 3D environments. BricsCAD offers a unique choice in the CAD market, perfect for many types of organization. Why is this? Well, when you select a CAD solution, numerous options are available. At the basic end of the market, the tools are predominantly 2D and are typically low cost or even free in some cases. However, these basic solutions don't really offer the range of capability you'd need to address most design workflows effectively. So an architect laying out a building or an engineer designing a relatively simple sheet metal bracket would find these products lacking. So for this level of capability, organizations have traditionally turned to more advanced CAD solutions. 
But of course, the drawback here is typically high cost because the capability available is way more than what's really needed. So advanced CAD with advanced pricing adds up to wasted costs for the needs of most users and businesses. What's really required is just the right level of capability. No more and no less. The maximum value for most users is through the optimum mix of capability and cost. Now AutoCAD does provide that required capability for some, but we really believe it has become excessively expensive. And for their higher price, we feel the solution really stops short of, of delivering a really powerful set of features. So what's the BricsCAD difference? Uniquely, we enable designers to realize maximum value with the best of both worlds, the capability you need at the cost you want. So let's look at BrisCAD version 23's capabilities and enhancements, driving our CAD-based innovation. Take, for example, our unique intelligent tools, such as CopyGuided. Our developers have upgraded these to be even more flexible. In V23, we've also made workflows involving point clouds more efficient. We have innovative tools to migrate from legacy DWG-based CAD products easily, such as a new dynamic to parametric block converter. So switching to BrisCAD can be even more seamless. And for a user experience delighted to perform, V23 delivers an exciting new update with the introduction of AI-powered user assistance. BrisCAD is now even easier and more intuitive to learn, so your workflows are more productive from the day you start. And current users will love the simplified, cleaner look and feel in many areas, such as the sheet sets dialog and the tool palettes panel. To supercharge your productivity each day, V23 really delivers with the new drawing health management feature and improvements to tools such as Optimize and Blockify. These are great tools which will further improve the fidelity and efficiency of your drawings, increasing their performance. BrisCAD V23 also sees the introduction of the new powerful Express tools, as well as other improvements to help you get drawings out of the door that faster. It also adds significant new capabilities for civil design. BrisCAD is often used to complete complex projects, so the environment needs to be interoperable and open to reduce the complexity, not add to it. So, V23 offers integration with wider hexagon solutions, addressing their specific point cloud scan formats. And we have improved the scope of our powerful API significantly, expanding BrisCAD's already legendary openness further still. So when it comes to challenging the status quo through CAD-based innovation, V23 further surpasses the capabilities found in legacy DWG-based products and increases our compatibility. It's so easy to upgrade from those products to BricsCAD we've developed a new Drawing Health tool, which groups together existing and new optimization tools, making it even easier to keep your design data compact and healthy. And this, in turn, increases design performance, helping you deliver drawings faster, and of course, helps maintain a high quality of design and our powerful Arrange command, introduced in V22, is now much easier to use. A new clean command panel and performance improvements increases flexibility, allows more accurate designs and improves the efficiency of your design process. A new Connect command is also available. Now this is similar to the current Join command, but it enables entities not touching to be connected, not just lines that already touch each other. 
And this is another great example of how V23 brings additional workflow efficiency, enabling faster delivery of drawings downstream. And what about legacy DWG CAD compatibility? Well, we have some great news because we've introduced our new dynamic to parametric block converter. We're extremely confident that our parametric block capability offers a superior alternative to AutoCAD dynamic blocks. And in V23, this new converter makes it even easier for you to take advantage of parametric blocks when you upgrade to BricsCAD. So if you're concerned about converting legacy CAD software files to upgrade to BricsCAD, then don't be, because you can now easily convert your libraries of dynamic blocks into BricsCAD native parametric blocks, providing a more seamless upgrade, allowing you to get started faster with BricsCAD. Now, let's show you some of this in action using a typical BricsCAD drawing. The drawing has been sent to us from our clients and contains 2D and 3D details of a new office building we need to work on. Before we start any work, we need to make sure the drawing is optimized and healthy to give us the best starting point. This drawing contains several legacy dynamic blocks. As we can see, this configurable table and chair arrangement is one of them. We actually have two instances of that dynamic block in this area, and there are potentially many more elsewhere on the drawing. Using the new converter tool, we can easily and quickly turn them into brisket parametric blocks to take advantage of the superior capability they offer. Just for this example, a block called round table, you can see how seamless the conversion is. Our drawing explorer confirms the conversion but the existing dynamic block also remains, allowing us to leave our options open. We can choose whether we want to keep it or not. So the purge command is a powerful way to clean drawings. And here we are using its new dialog, which makes it even easier to remove empty or unused items. In this case, some layers and materials we don't need. BrisCAD offers many tools to optimize the state of a drawing, and the new Drawing Health feature combines them all in one convenient place. With a tutorial at hand, you can see the different levels of automation. And by selecting the middle interactive mode, we can now choose the Drawing Health task we want the tool to focus on. There are many options we can choose from in the single powerful feature, but we're mostly interested in duplicate block definitions for now. We are told there are four issues over here, which we can easily resolve by picking the right block definition. So let's now switch to the modeling workspace because we want to work on the 3D model of the office building and make several changes over here. With 2D and 3D capabilities in the same environment, this is easy in BrickCAD. Taking a section through the building makes it easier for us to understand it better and to make those changes faster. We can now see the updated Tools Palettes panel. Our new user, new user experience foundation continues to progress in V23, and you can see how it enhances this feature, making it more user-friendly. And we use this panel to access the Arrange command, which we'll use to align the set of columns in both the X and Y direction. You'll see this now features a brand new panel, which makes it more accessible and efficient, again with a fresh look and feel. We'll also align these plants by centering them and distributing them evenly across the floor. The new panel makes this a quick task. New colored center planes offer greater understanding of the relationships between the items being arranged and the ability to dynamically move items to distribute them adds another level of flexibility. For harnessing technology to supercharge productivity, our new Express tools in BricsCAD now natively feature a whole set of capabilities. These provide additional layer management tools, such as the ability to quickly select an individual layer, extra block manipulation tools, 
such as Easy Block Replacement, annotation tools such as Arc Align Text, further geometry modification tools, and a whole host of time-saving new features. V23 also delivers enhancements to our intelligent productivity features. Copy Guided 3D can now be applied to model faces, extending its flexibility and usability. And the powerful Optimize command now fixes geometric inaccuracies such as small gaps between arcs and lines in a much smarter way, helping to maintain the integrity of the drawing for greater performance and more productivity. Similarly, Parametric Blockify has now been extended to recognize plain 2D geometry variations of parametric blocks with 2D parameters and constraints and flip lines. And this is another improvement in design flexibility and again enables much more efficient design. We know by giving you tools and workflows which are intuitive to use and easy to learn, you'll be more efficient, productive and creative. This is why we've introduced new features to make drafting and designing easier and simpler when using BricsCAD. So we're excited to show you our new intelligent command assistance feature. This feature provides in-product personalized user assistance powered by AI Simply, we've added a new ribbon tab, which suggests the commands you're likely to need next, providing valuable usage tips. It's also so smart, it suggests productivity tools that similar users are using too. If you're new to BricsCAD, this unique and powerful capability can really help you get up to speed fast, reducing your time to reach full productivity. And for seasoned BricsCAD users, personalized user assistance will help you to dramatically increase your efficiency. We've reworked the Tool Palettes panel, a new published dialog, and the Sheet Set panel to give a fresh, modernized look and feel. And finally, we've introduced a brand new Lasso Object Selection capability. This gives you a useful new way to select entities using a lasso type selection. So let's discover how we've enhanced the user's experience. We'll now move back to BriskCAD itself to continue to explore a client's 2D and 3D building layouts and, along the way, take a look at some more of the new features and enhancements which we've just been talking about. Many of you, I know, use sheet sets a lot. And this is another area to get the new user experience treatment in V23. The updated panel clearly provides a much more clean, modern looking feel. This is a further example of our commitment to make using BriskCAD as enjoyable, satisfying and efficient as possible. You'll see even more of this new fresh look and BriskCAD in future versions. And as you saw earlier, the Tool Palettes panel is an additional case in point. The modernized and clean look and feel of this popular and well-used panel not only makes it even quicker and easier to navigate, but customizing it to meet your exact needs is simpler too. We want to add the Manipulate tool to ours, as it's something we're going to be using a lot for this project. We can easily add it to the panel from our comprehensive list of tools, as before, but now we can place it exactly where we want it to be by using simple drag and drop capability. Just like that. A new lasso selection tool adds flexibility when picking entities. We're using it here to select the block of a double bed, which we want to change to be a single bed, which is a different block in our drawing. This is now much easier using the new block replace feature just one of a set of powerful express tools within BrisCAD V23.
Maximizing productivity is fundamental to BrickCAD, and even the AI-powered command assistance does just that. It predictively offers you the tools you're likely to need next based on several criteria. This includes tools that others like you use on a regular basis and how you typically work in BrickCAD. Now Copy Guided 3D has also been improved in version 23. You may remember this feature was introduced some releases ago for 2D geometry. And it's a really powerful way to copy geometry intelligently so that it automatically adapts to its new surroundings. In V22, we extended this to address 3D solid bodies. And now in this release, you can apply it to faces as well, significantly expanding its scope. We're using it now to make some more copies of a corner panel feature, which we need repeated in several places within the building. You can see just how easy it is to do that with just one click, helping to reduce a significant amount of manual effort. And V23 is even more interoperable and open for users whose design process involves point cloud scans of existing buildings a powerful new feature is BricsCAD's point cloud surface deviation analysis. This gives you the ability to outline via color coding deviations between a point cloud scan and a 3D model to compare, for example, an as-built building with its BIM equivalent to understand how the real one deviates from its design intent. So if you're carrying out renovations or involved in many types of construction projects, point cloud surface deviation analysis can really help improve the accuracy of your work, reduce design timescales, and help decrease potentially costly time-consuming errors later in the process. Another update in V23 in this area is the support of Hexagon Standard Point Cloud or HSPC format data, which enables more seamless extended workflows for many of you using Hexagon Geosystem solutions. And for our renowned openness, V23 further extends a set of APIs, as well as additional and unique API functionality. This makes it even easier for our development partners and our customers to build more effective and powerful apps to solve specific design problems. Now, a key focus area of BricsCAD is the civil design and survey industry. Here, BricsCAD provides a foundational civil design platform onto which a host of partner apps sit and it gives you the flexibility of having the right tools for your projects. You can import point clouds and legacy site designs, as well as mapping data into BricsCAD. You can then edit the data to create a digital terrain model, onto which you can design many types of civil structure. Using a wide range of partner applications you can also benefit from additional specific functionality, such as road, path, and rail design. So let's take a closer look at how the new features and enhancements in V23 help you address the different parts of a civil and survey workflow even more effectively. First of all, BrisCAT V23 features updates to increase the efficiency of the civil scan to tin workflow. We've improved the already powerful tin simplify command introduced last year by enhancing the user experience with a new feature known as the tin surface manager panel. Here you can refine the tin surface build process by incrementally editing definitions, deleting them or temporarily disabling them to create the perfect surface. As part of the updates, we've also introduced a new Densify command. This enables you 
to add previously excluded points back into specific areas of the thin model, such as curbstones or intersections, when additional detail is needed by the engineer as they've progressed their design. This enables them to produce the most accurate drawing possible without compromising on the efficiency of a workable TIN model. And finally, in version 23, it's even easier to edit your TIN. A swap edges command changes the direction of two triangle faces, whilst the remove out edges command sets the maximum triangle length and angle, and then provides an option to trim triangles that underlie the boundary line. Briscat V23 also improved its ability to import civil design data into your model from other software, including geospatial data, making it easier to use and resulting in faster workflows. We've created a new user interface for importing civil points. This allows you to specify any point file format for importing such data. We've also added a number of enhancements which you need to import data from civil 3D files. This means you can introduce even richer geospatial data into your models. What's more, we've added new import and export spatial commands so you can add data from and to an S3 SHP file. Finally, we're really excited to announce a new Civil Explorer panel to help you better navigate and manipulate civil objects within your model. The new panel features settings to manage surface label styles and point file formats, enabling you to create and edit symbol and label styles. There are also new surface contour labeling tools, allowing you to create contour labels, slope labels, and spot elevations. We've also made some considerable improvements to gradings, helping you edit, split or combine them to suit your exact design needs. In V23, you can now use part of an input curve, split gradings into regions and merge common gradings on the same input entity. We also support the use of multiple regions and transitions between segments. So, as you can see, there are lots of improvements in our civil solution in V23. We've covered a lot in just a short time. So let's take a look at them in action to give you an even better understanding of how they can help improve your civil and survey workflows. When we work with land XML files, there are always updates. In this case, we'll import the initial survey to begin with. This is listed along with all other objects in the Civil Explorer, where we can access the relevant functions to work with the object. We begin by zooming to the tin and then editing the description on the information panel. The next step shows us the steps in defining the surface, which we'll edit later. The statistics and visual styles can also be accessed from the Civil Explorer instead of using the Properties panel, so we can easily display the contours and adjust the color details. And as we make edits to the tin, in this case we'll just swap the diagonals of some triangles, we see the entries in the Definition tab updating. We can select and disable them from the Explorer to return the tin to its original state and re-enable as necessary. We'll now continue by adding some smoothening to the valley area on the right, over here. Notice that, as we complete these steps, they are all being added to the definition steps in the Civil Explorer. We can now turn the triangles off and add some of the new contour labels and spot labels to document the edits to the valley area. It's really quickly just clicking the place where you want the labels to be, and you can even move them. And now we will still add some numbers to the contour lines. But one of the most powerful features of the Civil Explorer 
is the ability to edit or update individual steps and the definition steps and have the rest maintained. We will now cater for the scenario where we have received an updated survey tin with some preliminary design by changing the file paths on the first step. We actually notice that the contours update, but we don't have to reapply the labels, as they also update. We also notice that the smoothening is still applied with the new file. So this enables workflows for collaboration with multiple parties, with Civil 3D, as well as Land XML, and is all accessed through the intuitive environment of the Civil Explorer. So for current users of BricsCAD V22 or an earlier version, we're confident from what you've seen today, you can see the benefits of upgrading to V23. Let's have a quick recap of what they are. Firstly, we've built a more simplified but engaging user experience, which will really help you and your teams to realize greater productivity. Next, we've made it even easier and faster to switch from legacy DWG-based CAD products for a more seamless upgrade to BricsCAD. You'll see new tools and enhancements for more efficient workflows across most industry sectors and use cases. We continue our well-known focus on intelligent automation, reducing manual effort on laborious tasks. And this frees you to do more high value design work or just complete the work faster. And finally, the higher level of openness in V23 allows you to better address workflows which are specific to your organization. With V23, BricsCAD really does help you to build better. So before we leave you, just to say we have some great in-depth breakout sessions on what we've touched on today. So check out the five sessions for BricsCAD Pro and Lite, along with the others developed for our Brixis community. These sessions are available on demand, so you can get a deeper look into what's new whenever it's convenient for you. And we also have some specific breakout sessions covering our civil design solution and our open BricsCAD as a platform offering. These include overviews of what's new in V23 and our partner solutions for surveyors and civil engineers. And you'll find significant updates to our product APIs. So a huge thank you from Walter and I for joining us today. We hope you're as excited as we are about what version 23 can do. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I love that our developers have met the challenge to drive CAD-based innovation. My highlight was how easily users can convert libraries of dynamic blocks into Brick's CAD native parametric blocks. Amazing workflow tools for industrialized construction. Well, this brings us to the end of the summit for this track. And I'm sure you've discovered many innovative tools to make your working day more productive and creative. We all hope you've enjoyed your time with us and I send a special thanks to the Brixis team here today. You've put on a fantastic event for us. Please keep your feedback and comments coming in. The Brixis community of users drive and inspire us to innovate for you. Oh, and please don't forget to watch the breakout sessions. There's over 23 demos for the whole family of Brixis solutions. You'll find great ideas and innovations. Also, don't forget to check out the other tracks of today's events. You'll get to see the full scope of BricsCAD and Brixis 24 seven in version 23. Watch them on demand and they're available immediately after the event ends. And for those of you who have joined us today to discover BricsCAD and Brixis 24 seven for the first time, get started today with a free trial or update to version 23 to start enjoying the enhancements that you've seen today. So goodbye from me and the Brixis teams. And until the next time, we'll be working to democratize the tools you need so we all build better. See you soon and bye for now.